space, space. <laughs> Get destroyed, Charlie. No, you. <laughs> you can't knock me down. I'm a wall. Everyone's down. First start. Okay. Let's say add a small star's life cycle. Okay. Small stars has the longest life cycle. They start they start as a red dwarf and proceed to a yellow dwarf. Then finally a blue dwarf. What about the other stars like medium sized stars like our sun? Well, Acadia, medium sized stars are bigger or white than white dwarfs and have shorter a shorter life. They start as a yellow uh, they start as a yellow star then proceed to become an orangish color and then become a red giant. Later it explodes and creates a nebula. Massive stars have the shortest life of all stars. They start as a, a they start blue once again becoming an orange color. Then it turns into a red super giant. And then Zelda Goose, Beetle Goose, is Beetle Juice is in this state. It is expected to enter the next stage each age of life any day in the next one one hundred thousand years. <laughs> The last stage of life is a supernova caused by the core trying to produce iron and E for energy. You know show me bang. Now for planets. Mercury is the smallest pla smallest planet and and the closest to the sun. Some difference between Earth and Mercury is that Mercury has a giant core, unlike Earth, and instead of being broken up into plates, Mercury's crust is one solid outer shell. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Its thick atmosphere and greenhouse gases trap so much heat. Our, our jinx, jinx point. Double jinx. Charlie, this is your time to talk. Charlie? Charlie! Thank you for letting me talk again. Mars, um, wait. Commercial time!
Sadwin is well known for his screaming. Sad. <laughs> the closer you get to a black hole, the slower time gets for you. The black hole is a place where space <laughs> in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The, <laughs> the gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when the star is dying. <laughs> because there is no light, they can get that can get out. People can't see black holes. They are invisible. Poof. <laughs> Proximity to a black hole also causes an extreme time dilation, where one hour equals seven years on Earth. Black holes of stellar mass are for a form when a massive of stars collapse at the end of their life cycle. Stellar mass, as black stellar mass black holes are anything but gentle. <laughs> when you are when you approach which a black hole, it will start pulling you towards the middle. And if you get into it, if you survive, you will start to get stretched. You will get stretched farther and farther. You will start traveling the speed of light. And then you, you will die, die, die. <laughs> Black hole is They are found in freezing space. I think they are cool because they destroy, they are invisible. They destroy the galaxies. Oh no! There's a black hole in the middle of our galaxy! Uh, uh, we're all gonna, we're gonna die! die. Ah. The sun will be long gone be by the time we're sucked into the, in a, into the black hole. Oh, wait, what is that back there? It's a black hole! We're, we're all going, going to die. die! Oh, relax. It's just a background. <laughs> oh, what is a background? Can't answer right now. Sorry. I'm the court ruler of black holes. Now I die. Huh? Acadia, you would, be ha you would have black holes come I mean, to suck us up. Up. Because I am not at my full strength. Now for quasars. <laughs> A, a quasar is an extremely active center of a galaxy powered by a supermass black hole. <laughs> Quasars are found in the middle of are found in the middle of a galaxy, <laughs> getting powered right from um, a supermassive black hole. <laughs> a quasar shines so brightly that it eclipses the oldest galaxies that have them. I think they are cool because they are powered by supermassive black holes. Uh, the oldest quasar currently is, is the J0313-1806. The word quasar stands for quasar, quasar stellar radio source. On January 12th of 2021, the astronomers, 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 astron located an object that is, is that's a new record for being for being the most most distant supermassive black hole. Oh, oh! They said they saw they saw a quiz the quasar and labeled it J O three one three one A O six. It formed from just six six hundred seventy million years after the Big Bang. Big Bang. <laughs> Nolan Masterson. Welcome to Space News. This is Alexa, Finley, and Kaomi. <laughs> Today, 
We will teach you about space. The most interesting topic. I'm to Kaoni to teach us about black holes. The first topic. Hello. Today, I will teach you about black holes. A fun fact about black holes is that a black hole isn't a hole. It's a funnel. Another fact is that a black hole are black because they suck in light. As you may there you have it. Kaoni has been sucked into a black hole. Okay. Now for a special occasion. I will teach you about some rules, please. Comets. I'm Demita teaches about comets. Hi there, I'm Nolan, and today I will pound all the information about comets into your head so you'll never forget it. Comets are made of icy degrees. Cool. Comets have two tails. One is blue and one is pink or white. When a comet gets close to the sun, the ice on the comet melts and forms its tail. The longest comet can be 300 million miles long. A comet's head can be as big as a mountain. That was awesome! Comet fool, black hole suck, literally. On to Alexa, teaching about stars. Hello, I am Alexa. Now I will teach you about stars. Did you know that the nearest star besides me, the sun, is Alpha Centauri? Alpha Centauri. Wait, oh my god. Also, the bigger the star, the shorter its lifespan. As you may know, when a planet dies, it forms a star. Hi, I'm Finley, and I'll teach you about asteroids. There are many things to learn about asteroids, and I'll just teach you about some of the things humans have learned. First, the biggest asteroid is called Ceres. It's so large, the scientists consider it a dwarf planet. Second, fragments of asteroids are called meteorites. Third, there are millions of asteroids in our solar system. And finally, the biggest crater on an asteroid is 182 miles wide. Now we turn it back to Kaomi again. Hopefully he got out of that black hole. And why did he have two parts? <laughs> Hello again. I escaped that black hole that sucked me in. Have you ever wondered what makes a black hole? A dead star. I'll teach you about the sun because it's a star. Did you know that the sun is 4.6 billion years old? Also, the sun's rays are as strong as the core of the earth. And Nolan, I have two parts because I do. Okay, now that we've learned about space, let's play the space game. This space game is about fun and space facts. If you get two questions wrong, you're into the black hole. First question, how long could a comet be? 300 million miles long, duh. 300 million miles long. 300 million miles long. You all got it correct. Next question, why are black holes black? They, they suck, suck in light. light. You're all getting the hang of it. Next question. The sun's rays are as strong as what? The, the core, core of the, the earth. earth. A rubber band? Keone, you have one wrong. One more strike and you're into the black hole. Oh, it's getting hungry. But I already have it in the black hole. Okay, fun. whatever. Next question. What will the sun become when it dies? White dwarf, black dwarf, or black hole? Black dwarf. Duh. Interesting. You all got it wrong. Keone, you're um, sucked in the ah! black hole. Thing. Okay, um, everyone, you have one more chance um, to fail, and then you're into the black hole. Um, shoot. Wait, what? Ah, shoot. Um, hi, today we will be talking about all things technology. Uh, we hope you like it. Hi, today I'll be talking about, uh, 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 wine. Coding. Coding! Meanwhile, in the background. Help! Why are you hear me? Help!
Now back to the show. Uh, that was weird. Anyway, today I'll be telling you facts and fun facts about coding! Yay! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> did you know that a, pro a program is a set of instructions that a computer follows? These include JavaScript and many more. Code is, a, is words that mix up two things on computers. Now for the fun facts. Coding has over 700 languages. The first computer virus ever was a creeper. Creeper. Oh, man. Now we're going to be talking about video games. No, we're going to be talking about video games. Anyway, some facts about video games are all video games are made of a special code called binary. Also, some video games can be educational. And finally, video games have controllers that send messages to the motherboard to work. Now for the fun facts. Did you know that Minecraft is the best-selling game so far and that the Game Boy was the first console to go to space? <gasps> now, let's talk about cell phones. So first of all, did you know that phones can be helpful when an emergency occurs because you can alert the authorities <coughs> when you're in danger? Miwa, in the background. Oh, Simon B, you're going to want to see this. What? Never mind. Now back to the show. And that modern um, mobile phones have wireless capability in the form of infrared, Bluetooth, <coughs> and other wireless protocols. Some of the largest manufacturers of cell phones include Nokia, Samsung, Motorola, Sony, Ericsson, and Apple. Now for the fun facts. Did you know the average mobile phone is even dirtier than a microplastic wrap in the microwave? <laughs> Mission failed. Get him next time. Now back to the show. Quit it to Eddie. As I was saying, the average phone is dirtier than a toilet seat, and a scientist can charge their phones with urine. Now moving on to technology history. Uh, did you know that the history of tech started before we were alive? These include Java's... Wait, uh... Bah! Uh, it started before we were alive? Meanwhile, in the background. Uh, this will take a second. While, while we're waiting, let's do a little happy dance. This is in the background. We're in the background. This is meanwhile in the background. <laughs> oh, wait, is this guy? Oh, 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 I'm not oh, here. Oh, do you know where the nearest bathroom is? Uh, no, get lost. Uh, okay, bye. Let's ask somebody else. No, back to the show. Oh, but a uh. Uh, 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 um, the Quarry keyboard was designed to slow down the typing of, of speed. Fun fact time. The first robot created was called Unanimate and Nokia used... Commercial break time! Made from binary breakfast. B Introducing ones and O's, the first binary cereal. Now let's let the kids try it out. Um, let me try. Hmm. Which one? Let me try the O. Why can't I see anymore? Let me try the one. Oh, why do I keep seeing one? Now back to the show. That you, that, wait, uh, that... As I, was saying, As I was saying, Nokia used to sell toilet paper. Now for our last topic, the internet! Woo! Yay! Yay! Did you know that the internet can do almost anything? And that the internet 
can be really bad sometimes, but there's also a lot of stuff on the internet that can be good for you. Now for the fun fact. <laughs> okay, calm down, Jeffrey. <laughs> As I was saying, now for the fun facts. Did you know that Twitter has over 250 million users and that the internet is over 9,110 days old? <laughs> All right, we hope you like our documentary about technology just as much as we do. Bye now. Wait, it's not over? Yes, it is, Jeffrey. Oh, okay, bye. We just told him that so he can get away. He's really annoying. But now we're gonna do deleted scenes and then credits. Wait, what? You said Okay. <laughs> Go away, Jeffrey. Deleted Go away, scene. You. Deleted scene number one. Mother, 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 mother. Wait, mother. Wait, 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 wait. The camera's on, guys. Oh, guys. Ah, 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 ah. Deleted scene number two. Let me try out what? Hey, there's a toy here! We've got a commercial! There's a toy here! And a toy with a binary breakfast! <laughs> I quit! You're the next one! Deleted scene number three! I put microwave in the plastic! You're not supposed to do that! Oh my god! Wow. Alright! I've been practicing for five years! Alright! Now for the credits! credits. Okay, the credits are... Oh, wait, oh, here, wait. Oh, these are the new credits. New credits. <laughs> the new credits are... Simon F, 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 uh, wait. Simon, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> okay, bye now. Okay. Hello, I'm Grace. Today we're going to research about deep sea animals. And I'm Mira. I'll show you some facts about whales, jellyfish, seals, dolphins, and lobsters. Whales. Whales! Whales are the biggest animals ever to exist, reaching 80 feet long. But what do they eat? That's a good question. They eat tiny krill. Krill are kind of like a mix between lobsters and shrimp. Did you know that whale calves gain 200 pounds a day? Whoa, now that's interesting. Once whales grow up, they can be, um... 330,000 30, pounds. Whales sure are heavy, but that doesn't mean all whales are heavy. Lando? Hi, I'm Lando. Whales come in all shapes and sizes. There are 90 types of whales discovered in the world. The most popular being the biggest animal, the blue whale. Well, are there any small ones? Of course, the smallest being the dwarf sperm whale. How big is it? It weighs 400 pounds and it is 7 feet long. That's a small whale. Yep, it's the smallest. I wonder how deep whales go into the ocean. Let's find out. To the computer! It says here that they dive 200, or sorry, 2,992 meters. That sure is deep. It also says that they are marine mammals. I wonder what that means. I know, marine mammals are mammals who live in the water, but every now and then they go to the surface to get a gasp of air. That's really cool. Eee! Okay. Jellyfish! One of the basic facts about jellyfish is they're 95% water. So like blobs of water swimming in water? Sort of. Did you know that there are over 2,000 types of jellyfish in the world? Uh, the smaller jellyfish is, sm is the size of your thumb. The jellyfish's name is the true candy G box jellyfish. Cool, but what's the biggest? I don't know. Let's find out. 
Glad we could rent this submarine. I need you to get in right now because I can't wait. All right, let's go. Look at that. That's a big jellyfish. Look, I got my jellyfish scanner. The lion's mane jellyfish, also known as the biggest jellyfish ever known. Bingo! Hello, want to play? Sure! sure. Dolphins! Dolphins! Wait, someone's calling. Oh, that must be my best friend Jerry. Hey. Hey guys. I have an interesting fact about me and my kind. What is it, Jerry? Dolphins actually can't breathe underwater, and the reason that we go up and down is to catch our breath. I just thought they were showing up. Nope. Jerry tells me this stuff all the time. Guess what? I'm a marine mammal. That sure is cool. We just found out what that is. I have to go back to my pod now. It's been a good time. What's a pod? A group of dolphins. Cool. Bye. Seals! Seal dogs. I mean, sea dogs. Sea dogs? Sea dogs? Sea dog is another word for seal. Also, Lando is currently shooting the submarine to the seals. Lando, do you know where the seals are? Yes, they're in the Arctic and Antarctic Ocean. That's going to be a long way. Fourteen days later. later. Is that... Wait, no. No, no. We're finally here! Look, a seal! Wait, is that... Don't tell me you have another friend. No, it's Jerry's best friend. His name is Bob. Please call me Sir Bobbington. You're holding it backwards. Please call me Sir Bobbington. The third. The third. So it looks like we got a fancy one here. What do you... What do you... Would you mind if you gave us some facts on seals? Sure. One of them is that we are very, very chunky. Cool. Sometimes we use our whiskers to find stuff in the sand. Yes. <laughs> Lobsters! Lobster shells are skeletons. They also have ten legs and only use eight of them to walk. Whoa. W-A-Y-S. Yes! It's actually Y A S. I mean, well, it um, also, lobsters live in murky parts of the ocean. Credits! Credits! Uh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, that's a short one. Yeah. Oh, the wait, uh, writers of the script are um, Mira Crow, me, and Lando Crow. Me. Jerry was played by Lando. Lando, me. Lan Lando was a jellyfish character. Tracker and Lando was Bob. Also Bob. Drawings. drawings. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the drawings. Um, is that it? Oh. I'm of oh, Bob, Alan Jellyfish, and Jerry were by are by me, Mira, and or and, and were that's by me wrong. and Mira and Crow. And Lando made the Alan Jellyfish. Right? I made that I made I also I made one of them. Wait, okay, you have a line. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Why is there yeah. all those marks? <laughs> Are you okay, Lando? And Lando collapses. Yes! It's recording! Go! Technology and heroes them now. Whoa, 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 Patricia, you are way too bad at this. You're fired. Sign it. Whoa, 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 Patricia, Patricia, you put, you put Patricia. You have to redo it. Go. 
Check, check. <sighs> now for our theme song. This game's from 2000. Wait, that's 20 years from now. Wait, is time travel a thing? <laughs> video games are stored on these cards in video game software. Bro, that's a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> you are in the future where video games rule. To be a math machine in order to make a video game. Yeah, Charlie, Elon Musk, Elon who? Elon Musk. How do you know this stuff? Who was I talking about? Hey, I talked to a game developer named Jeb. I know, Jeb. Fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> he said that video game developers spend $10 million on video games. Hey, I know something about video games, too. You know their best video games are based off of a character called Mario? Wait, how do video games get made? I know. I think it starts with coding. Yeah, I don't know. How could we? Everybody knows everything about this stuff. Wait, why don't you know anything about tech? I don't know. Um, um, there are two types of coding methods. Visual graph coding and text-based coding. Different coding languages mean you will be coding differently. Two fun facts. The most common coding method is visual is text-based coding. The word code means it rules. I, I, thought, I thought you knew nothing. nothing! I don't. Wait, where did Charlie go? It doesn't matter. You're right. Anyway, when Charlie's gone, let's talk about the history of the computer. Another thing, when Charlie gets back, do you think he'll be Farnsworth? Farnsworth? The one who was born in 1906 and went so well on his project. What are you talking about? I didn't say anything. Hi, I'm Farnsworth. Fun fact, my favorite thing is to build Tesla coils. Did, did you just grow a mustache? And you mean Nikola Tesla? Yeah, whatever. Hey, do you hear that bell? I know, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Did that mean he's coming towards us? Is that Charlie? <laughs> hey guys, I found this thing called a computer. I thought you said that an hour ago. I know two fun facts from the time Labrador. What's this number? Thing? No, what's this number thing? one? Wait, Farnsworth got his idea from a cloud. Farnsworth got his idea from a cloud. Number two. When a TV's inventor was a kid. What is this thing called blah 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 doodle? Correction, blah doodle. Hey, how did the computer evolve? Blah 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 blah, blah. I don't care, I don't care. Let's see if it works for me. I don't know anything. Dang it, it didn't work. I don't feel so good. Whoever knows the most about their favorite sports technology wins. 
a hundred billion dollars. Bet! I'll go first. Um, basketball players wear a heart detector under their uh, uniform so that they don't get a heart attack. All right. Okay. Stop fighting! Do you want me to pass again? No! Stop yelling! Then why are you yelling? Anyways, before the 2012 NFL season, they released lighter, drier, and cooler uniforms. I gotta do it! Wait! I have one more fan! No, you don't! Yes, I do! When bas when you watch basketball, you they use slow motion without editing! Huh! I have two more facts! What? Okay, you'll be broke after this one. When you go to the Cowboys, you get 3D glasses. Second, second. Football players use VR headsets to train. Ha! Ah, you're broke now! Ah, Charlie? Give me a hundred billion dollars. I didn't know you better. Yes! <laughs> hey guys, I found this game called a computer. Albert! Albert, we've gone over this! Back to you, Patricia. Patricia. Guys, there's never a Patricia in the first place. Oh, All right. right. We, we fired her. Did you Did find all the facts? facts? Credits. Credits. Producers. Charlie. Charlie. Landon. Landon. Cormac. Patricia. Charlie. Charlie. Farnsworth. Farnsworth. Landon. 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 Cooper oh. Einstein. Yeah! Cormac. Uh, <laughs> uh, Albert Einstein. Cor yeah. J Charlie. Cormac. Cormac. Landon. 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 Charlie. Charlie. Wait, I'm Albert. Editors. Editors. Charlie. Charlie. Landon. Landon. Cormac. Cormac. Albert. <laughs> no, Albert is not in the. Get. Come on. I will rip your mustache <laughs> off. And then Hi, I'm Juno. Eddie and June will be helping me teach you about Greek mythology. Now I'll hand it over to June to teach you about the Big Three. Who are the three main role players in Greek mythology? The Big Three. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades are the Big Three. Zeus is god of the skies, lightning, and thunder. Poseidon, his brother, is god of, is god of the seas and horses. Hades is god of the underworld, wealth, and death. When Zeus's siblings were little, his dad ate them because he thought they would steal the throne from him. When Zeus was born, his mother hid him from his father so that he wouldn't be eaten. Zeus later tricked his father into, drink, into drinking a potion that would make him puke out his siblings. Most gods and goddesses live on Mount Olympus. Poseidon lives in the sea. Hades lives in the underworld. Twelve gods live on Mount Olympus. Hera. Zeus, Hesta, Athena, Artemis, Hephaestus, Demeter, Apollo, Aphrodite, Hermes, and Ares. Fortune gods live there. Two moved out, just up and left. Wait, don't the gods have some weapons? Yes. <laughs> yes. First, let's talk about Zeus. Zeus. Zeus uses a lightning bolt that he got from the Cyclops. He uses it to cause rain and kill his enemies. <laughs> God. Second, we'll talk about Poseidon. Poseidon uses a trident that, once again, he got from the Cyclops. Third, we'll talk about Hades. Hades has two weapons, but one is technically armor. His first weapon was a bident, which is a trident but with two points instead of three. He uses it to cause hurricanes and earthquakes. His second weapon is the Helm of Darkness, which he uses to steal stuff and go in the overworld. Fourth, we'll talk about Ares. Ares uses an unbreakable spear and shield in battle, and he sometimes uses a sword, but he rarely does that. Now we'll talk about Apollo. Apollo uses an arrow with a golden, wait, no, uses a bow with a golden arrow. Ah. Wait, 
think what gods are good and which are bad? When you think of war, you think of bad people. But Ares is the god of war, so shouldn't he be bad? Ares is not necessarily bad. It just depends on what side of the war he's on. Although Zeus has a big temper, he's a kind god. He brings us rain to feed our crops so that we can eat. Hera, his wife and sister, she's a kind god. She watches over women in childbirth. Artemis does the same. She watches over women in childbirth. Hades is one of the worst gods ever. First of all, he's the god of death. He starts hurricanes, tornadoes, and he steals. Give me your money. <laughs> There are a lot of demigods in Greek mythology. The most known is probably Hercules, a.k.a. the hero that became immortal. He saved the world and fought Hades. The next demigod is Loki, who is also a giant. He had three tri children, one girl and one and two boys. The girl is named Hel and is, and is the goddess of the underworld. His two boys are a giant snake and a giant wolf. His wife is a full giant, also the leader of the giant giants. Next is Nilo Niloas. He is the son of Poseidon and the king of Pylos. The last demigod shall be... Per Perseus, the son of Zeus and princess Diana. Perseus killed monsters and was a Greek hero until the Tro Trojan War. He also decapitated Medusa for fun. Hope you learned about... I learned about a lot about n n n semi gods. Semi gods. <laughs> we hope you learned a lot about Greek mythology. Bye. 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 Hi, my name's Penny. I like cats, fantasy books, and noodles. Hi, my name's my name is Camille. I like dogs, math, and cherries. And oh. my name is Simon. Oh. <laughs> uh, and do you want to hear a funny joke about electricity? It's shockingly funny. <laughs> <laughs> and my name is Simon B. I like bees, reading, and donuts. And, and today, today we will be teaching, teaching you about technology. I chose technology because I love playing around with coding and video games. I like video games because you can play with your friends. And I wanted to know if that worked. I chose technology because it sounded like it, a lot of fun. I was wrong. It was actually quite hard. I also wanted to know about it because I wanted to know how you flick a switch or press a button and then something happens. And I chose technology because I knew it would be challenging and I love challenging things. First, we will talk about electricity. What do you, here's a joke. What do you call London without electricity? London. <laughs> One important fact about electricity is that it comes from lightning bolts. A lightning bolt is a giant spark of electric charge jumping from a thundercloud to the ground. By the way, please don't play without lits or electricity. You could get seriously injured or killed. Here's a fun fact. Electricity wires run all the way around the world. Not in places like Antarctica, though. Want to know how much we usually pay for our electric bills? Well, I know. It's... About $150 per month. Now we can go on to the next topic, which is animation. Here's a funny little joke. What uh, What did the computer say before it was put through animation? Be back in a gif. Early animation was inspired by flipbooks, and the stories were based on comic strips. A fact that is really important is that Walt Disney used multi-plane cameras to get a 3D effect. Another important fact is that in the golden age of animation, Walt Disney used an assembly line process and storyboards for their films. A fun fact about animation is that Wallace and Gromit at Grand Day Out took two years to film. Isn't that crazy? In Little Nemo, the artist had to draw 360 pictures per minute in the film. Isn't that crazy? Our next topic will be devices. A fun joke is, what are cell phones made of? Cells! Get it? <laughs> An important fact about devices is that Tony Farrell was the one who invented the iPod. Another important fact is that Alexander Graham Bell invented the cell phone. Time for fun facts. One fun fact is that Alexander Graham Bell did not have a middle name until he was 11. Did you know that walkie-talkies were first used by U.S. soldiers in the 1940s? Digital computers were used in the 1940s for military purposes. And that's all for that subtopic. Let's talk now. Let's talk about video games. A video game-based joke is what is the most playful game controller? The joystick. 
<laughs> consoles use hard drives to save people's progress, and buttons and joysticks send messages to the console to control what happens in the game. Here's a fun fact. Pieces of code are called code engines. You may see them in one or more games. Most games come on discs. When you put a disc in a co in a console, it reads the code. Are you asking how binary coding works? Well, even if you aren't, we're still going to tell you. Binary is a base two-number system representing ones and zeros. Early computer systems had mechanical switches t that turned on to represent one and turned off to represent zero. And, th and that's all for video games. Our final topic is television. Do you want to hear a television joke? I'll tell you what, it's pretty funny. <laughs> the first fact is that the all-electric television was made in 1927. Samuel F. B. Morse invented the telegraph, linking the world by wire. Time for some fun facts. The first table TV broadcast took place in 1950. NBC was the name of the first radio network. And one last joke, two electricians walk to a bar. One says, I lost a battery, and the other says, are you positive or negative? <laughs> well, we've shared a lot of facts today. We hope you're satisfied now. If you enjoy that even as half as much as I did, then this project was a success. Did you like this documentary? I hope you did, because I liked making it. I struggled doing this, so please tell all your friends to watch this. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.